Hey everybody, so I want to just uh, talk to you just for a second and answer a question that's been bouncing around out there, which is, should I bring my family to church on Sunday? Uh, it's kind of a difficult question because there really isn't a playbook for this. Uh, we haven't been through this before, so there's a lot of families who want to do the best they can to uh, safeguard their kids uh, and their community, and so it's a difficult question. So I, I want to just help us think through it for just a second together uh, by giving you a couple really clear-cut ones and then uh, leaving part of it up to you. So uh, the first answer to that, should I bring my family to church on Sunday, is no if you have been sick or you have any symptoms of the virus at all. So if you have anything going on uh, that looks like you may have it, not you do have it, but you may have it, uh, it's going to be safer for you and everybody around you if you just stay home. Uh, no, if you've been exposed to somebody who has the virus in the last 14 days. So uh, unless you have uh, had enough time for the virus to develop and then you've been tested and it came back negative, uh, even so, it's probably just safer if you've been exposed to somebody if it's been 14 days. So that's that's the no. And I think at this point, we all already know that by now. Uh, let's talk about the yes for just a second. If you're healthy, uh, if you have a strong immune system, uh, you don't have any other sickness going on, uh, and you're willing to come and be careful, be considerate, and behave yourself around other people. It means sitting separate. Uh, we have the chairs spaced out, so sitting separate from other people, standing separate, at least six feet apart from other people. No hugs, no handshakes, you're wearing a mask when you're coming in. Uh, anytime you can't be six feet away from somebody, you get that, that mask on. By the way, I know there's so much debate about masks out there. Uh, can I tell you what masks do accomplish? They remind you every time you wear them to be careful. Do they stop a virus? Yeah, probably not. Uh, do they remind you to be careful and considerate of other people? Does it show other people you're attempting to be careful and considerate? Yep. So just from an emotional standpoint, it's a helpful tool. So if you can do that, yes, be here, yes. Uh, it, here's another one. People have been saying, well, what if we have kids? Uh, our kids aren't used to sitting in the service. We have small children, they're gonna make noise. So uh, if you have noisy children, yes, bring them to church. We want them here. Uh, we know they're not going to be for perfectly quiet during the service. Uh, that's, that's how it's going to be. Uh, but think about this, for about 1,900 years, the church always had the children with the adults in the service. It's only been in the last 100 years that we've removed our kids to Sunday school and children's church, and we've taken them out of the service. So number one, it's going to be good for your kids uh, to learn that they're just as much a part of the church as mom and dad. Uh, it's going to be good for the kids to learn to sit and listen on their level to what's going on in the sermon. And number two, we can handle the noise, all right? Uh, let's be adults about it, those of us who are adults. In the last category, so no if you have symptoms, yes if you have noisy kids, uh, and then the third category is it's up to you. So if you're 65 and over, uh, it's up to you. If you want to come, we're still going to have the online service available. If you want to come, uh, you are welcome. Uh, it's up to you. If you have other health factors that put you at a higher risk, uh, it's still up to you. Uh, again, we're going to have the chairs spaced out. So if you behave yourself, it should be at least as safe as going to Walmart or the grocery store. And let's face it, way better for your emotional and spiritual well-being. Uh, most of the time, we're not even considering, man, what is what is the impact of this having on my soul and my emotions? So uh, I, I want to give us those just sort of loose guidelines as we think about it. Uh, we want to be able to worship with other brothers and sisters in Christ, uh, and we want you to be a part of that. So uh, as much as you can, uh, lean into fellowship with other brothers and sisters carefully, um, and if you have any comments or questions, please uh, get a hold of me, get a hold of Pastor John or Pastor Harold. We want to hear where your comments, concerns, things like that are. So if you have those, please get a hold of us as soon as possible. Uh, and we look forward to worshiping with you on Sunday, hopefully together in the building. And if not, uh, joining together around God's word online. We, we're grateful for that technology. Uh, we pray it continues to be a blessing to you and your family. So God bless.